Hello, today I'm going to show you how to move a WordPress site from one host to a new host. Um, so this is the site that we're going to move. Um, as you can see, I have a couple different posts in here. First of all, we're going to log into the site, which I'm already logged into. You should hopefully know how to log into your site. Um, we're going to do two things to prep this site for moving. First of all, we're going to install a new plugin. So go to plugins and then uh, Installed plugins and then add new plugin. We're going to look for a plugin called WP DB for database backup. Alright, we're going to click install now to install this plugin. This is going to make a backup of, all, of your entire WordPress database, which is super handy. I'm going to go ahead and activate the plugin. We're going to go down to Tools, and you'll see that there's a new tool called Backup. Go ahead and push that, and you're going to see that it brings up a page that looks roughly like this. Uh, you can use this to automate your backups, which I haven't done, but it looks like it's all built in. All I'm going to do right now, though, is leave all of this stuff as it is, and click nothing except for Backup Now. And you'll see it gives us a little progress bar, and it'll take just a minute or two to complete. Okay, while that's going, we're going to do uh, the, other, the other task that we need to prep this site. We're going to connect to our, uh, our current host through an NFTP program. I'm using FileZilla. You can use something else if you like. Uh, FileZilla is for free on the internet. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's see, we're going to connect to it, browse to where your WordPress install is located on your current host, and we're going to, let's see, you can see this is this is my whole install right here and you have three main files in your in your WordPress install you have your admin your content and your includes what we're going to do is we're going to right click on your WP content folder and we're just going to download the whole thing it's going to take a minute or two but this contains um, not only your theme but also your plugins and also your um, your uploaded images and your images are kind of important because when you upload your images it puts it in all sorts of different folders and if you don't copy the folders over exactly as they are then when it gets to the new site it's not going to know where to connect to those files um, so that's why we're doing this whole content folder okay I'm just going to switch back over to our site you'll see that our backups complete and it gave us a downloaded file I'll go ahead and show this in folder there you go, and you can see it. I'm just going to right click and cut. And I'm going to go back to my FileZilla and I'm just going to paste it. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to drag it in FileZilla. So I'm going to drag it right to the folder that we're saving our WP content. And now, as soon as FileZilla completes, we're going to be good to go. You can see there's quite a few files in your, in your WordPress install. So 2,500 left. Okay, now we have our files all backed up. We have our database dump right here. We have our site basically prepped and ready to go. Next thing that we're going to do is go into wherever your DNS is, which is you know, possibly where you've registered your domain. If you're like registered at GoDaddy, um, it'll look different than this. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna redirect the IP address of your site so in this situation here's my site name and here's the site that is currently pointing to we're going to put in the IP address of the new host which is that and then just click Save okay the next step is wait <laughs> when you change an IP address in your DNS it always takes uh, a good bit of time. It could be 15 minutes. It could be, uh, you know, an hour or two. I know that your registrar will generally tell you 24 to 48 hours. It never takes that long. Basically, you just need to wait for it, this change to propagate through the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and pause, and we'll be back here in probably about an hour or two when this is propagated, and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, that DNS change is now propagated through the internet. I'm logged into my cPanel on my new host. I'm just going to install WordPress really quickly with my Softaculous installer. Just choose the right domain. That's fine. 
Softaculous is a really nice way to install WordPress, by the way. Just take a second. Alright, so this is loaded. Alright, this is the new WordPress site that I'm going to install to. Next thing I'm going to do is open up my FileZilla again. Um, I'm already connected to my new host, so I'm just going to browse to the install files, which are right here. And you can see I have my admin content and includes uh, folders, just like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to go ahead and delete all three of those existing directories, which are pretty much empty anyway. I just delete them in case um, something I upload doesn't overwrite everything perfectly. Probably be just as safe just to leave all that stuff in there. But. Okay, and you see in the left hand side I have uh, browsed to my folder where I save that WP con content stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and start the upload of all this. And this is going to take a minute because there's 3,000 files. All right, all of our files have been uploaded. So here's what we do with to get the rest of the data in there. Now that all of the files are there, we're going to go back to our cPanel. We're going to go to uh, something called PHP My Admin. Um, so depending on your host, there may be different ways to get there. Um, this is how you do it through cPanel. So you click on PHP My Admin, and you're going to see two databases pull up here. Um, the one that has the unique name in this situation, Epic Rep, whatever, is, uh, if you click on that, it's going to show you all of the tables within that uh, database. We're going to click on one called WP Options. And you can see it's got a whole bunch of different uh, whole bunch of different information. So all we're going to do now to import all of the rest of the data, so everything that was in your database is we're going to click Import. We're going to choose File. Okay, so we go to the folder that had our SQL dump that we did with the WPDB backup program on our previous installation. We're going to select that to upload, and all we do is we hit Go. Now after this completes, it says that it imported all of this SQL information. You're going to want to click back on Options and then Browse. And when you go in here, um, you want to look for the URL. If the URL isn't the URL that you're putting this onto, so if, you, if you're changing URLs while moving this WordPress site, for example, um, then you'd want to click on this and update that here. Um, I'm moving it basically to the same URL just on a different server, so I'm going to leave that is. I'm just going to go back to my blog, click visit site, and you can see that basically now it's in it's it's pulled in all of your posts and all of your pages it's pulled in all of your menus your users your passwords um, everything so everything should be as it was but now we've moved from the old host to the new host and that is how you move WordPress from one host to another using the WPDB backup plugin thanks for watching if you like this video go ahead and click like and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you.